Hi guys, welcome back to another mega video instead of a normal video. And sorry that I haven't been uploading as much. It's just really because of I've been having a very, very, like a pretty long burnout for like three months. This is my first video on like three months, I'm pretty sure. And now that I've been watching some pretty creative stuff online, now I've rekindled my building uh, activity and now I just got to making a Mac. Out of some random pieces that I had lying around, here you guys can meet this dude. I don't have a name for him, but I would like to see the names that you guys have for him in the comments. Whatever one is the most liked, I we will name this dude. So, uh, go down below, comment, and see who will get their name for this robot. But, anyways, like, subscribe if you guys feel like it, and let's enjoy the show. I am so sorry that I was so corny. <laughs> okay, so... This is a very weird mech. Reason why I said weird is because he has an interchangeable face. Now these he has like two weird modes. Blue, as you guys saw, which he has smiling blue. Or is this more cyan? No mouth, which he just does not know what to say. And then... Um... Sad. And now, I have the pieces that make up this... This, uh, face on the side. And, yes, most, if not all of these pieces are... F no, actually, most of these pieces are are from a Lego set that I just ended up taking apart because it was because we had it for quite the long time. It's a it's a little dr three in one dragon set. Here are the pieces. A oh a cyan macaroni completely flat and two cyan pizza pieces. And then we have red smiling. These, as you guys saw, these eyebrows can move. But we have red smiling. Red no mouth. Oh, his eyebrow fell off. Red no mouth. And then red sad which I mean it just makes him look actually angry when you put his eyebrows in the right position yeah it's pretty funny I'm gonna take a take apart this face and show you guys what the head is and what pieces make up this face so that you guys can build this at home this is the wing piece from that dragon set that I was talking about, which turns into its face. And then we have the. Then we have the pieces for the red face. We have two one by one studs with holes in them. And we have two one by two brick plates not bricks and then a red macaroni piece just a little bit tighter of a corner and then two red pizzas <coughs> oh 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 there it is okay so from the head to the neck here he is so this is the neck. It's just the reconjoined pieces of mech moving parts. You guys can see them on the sides. 
and then we have a weird half circle w uh, plate with a hole in the middle which they used for a flat flashlight piece which allows the face to stick on there <laughs> now we just have this exact build just times not times three times three and a half actually nope never mind actually times three <laughs> instead of so this one is gonna be up then the next one's gonna be down and so on and so forth and then we have this little tooth piece for like some extra neck design you can you guys can really put anything on this last stud of the neck I just put yellow there because I mean why not besides it's gonna be covered up by the rest of the neck so it doesn't really matter then you just stick it onto the body right here which I will get onto the body with a later time. But out of the easiest arms is this weird robotic claw one. Now, I'm pretty sure that most of you guys don't have these type of claws. And I mean, this type of claw in this color. But it doesn't really matter what kind of claw you use for this as long as it is a claw. And then we have a spider web piece that allows the claws to hold onto it, like inside of like a plus, like or X motion. And then we have a few technic pieces. Well, one is this axle, which most people will use inside of technic builds. And then we have this Technic joint with an X at the bottom, which will allow me to connect the axle to it. Now, I'm not sure if this piece is an actual Lego piece or not, or if it's a really old Lego piece. But, I mean, it works for the build, so why not? It's this piece. Now, it's compatible with Lego, so that's why I'm presuming that it is from Lego. It even has its signature little thing at the front. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is either Lego from a long time ago, or it's just some weird, very good-looking competitor to Lego. Now, we have this T piece. Uh, I s use this part which is actually the last two bricks for this. We have a white version of the gray piece that we looked at earlier with a pin with X and O on it, which will allow it to use the two pieces and then this gray brick with this at the end, which will allow me to construct the arm. Why is it so hard to put in? Okay. But, you stick it, stick it in right here. Then, boom. This even, this little arm bit, this little arm bit, once all assembled, should be able to turn. And so can this very freely. But this one's just a little bit hold, held back. I'm not sure how, and I'm not sure if I want to fix that. <laughs> But you have both the neck, head, and the face, and the right arm. I'll go do the left arm now. I'll just have to do some taking apart so that I can show you guys the in detail how do how did I build this and why did I build it. <laughs> So, to comment your, your how has your guys' day been going, and I will start off first, because honestly, mine's been going quite well. 
Besides for the whole burnout thing and me not uploading anything for practically three months. But besides for that, after I rekindled my creativity from a few shows that I watched. Uh, yeah, now I'm back. I'm not back in action. And I am going to not quit from YouTube yet, even though I did have a burnout. Just because I had one burnout does not mean that I'm going to quit YouTube. <laughs> But, yeah. Oh, yeah. At, like, uh, at a certain subscriber milestone, I might do something very special. But that's only for you guys to decide, and that is when I... Actually, no, I'm not gonna tell you guys yet, because I know that most people will actually watch this video completely through. <laughs> Okay, but anyways, we have two more of those, uh, wait, pizza slices, yeah, with the exact same build from the neck onto the arm, then I connect this piece, which is just a 2x2 two two with studs on the front, to the pizza piece, boom, one part of the arm, a bit more to go, then we have... This weird grill piece that most people will use for Technic, which actually it has little grills on it that allow gears to actually hook on, which will allow me to connect it. You'll need two of these for the arm. Boom. Now, if you don't want this thing to start falling apart, then you should grab one of these pieces in pretty much any color, but it does look better in gray. And then put it under this. Not. I know, right? This just fell apart. Under the under the build that she did already. Right there. Right under this. Okay. Up next. You will need one of these corner moving pieces in order to give the arm that extra little, uh, that extra little movement that most arms do use. And you'll put it right there. Up next, this is just a little side build for the arm stability. Later, you'll need one of. Oh, You'll need one of these pieces in any color. Then you'll need one of these robot hands slash arms. Put it right here. Put a droid arm in any color, but preferably like grays. Put it on that robot hand. Uh -oh. And then you'll need a wrench piece which I'm pretty sure that this is a Lego piece but I am not positive because I do not see the Lego symbol anywhere but maybe this is some sort of weird piece from a long time ago and I just so happen to have one but you can probably find a good, better substitute than uh, this one but then you got this stability arm what you will be putting oh <laughs> right here now I'm just gonna put a little extra bit of stuff on here because I mean the entire most of the color scheme is blue then we got this which is just a little bit of color does it really do anything no does it look cool? Will it make it look better? Yes. <laughs> so then you're going to need one of these in gray or whatever color you want. And then one of these. Now you could just use a normal plate, but I decided to get, use a clear one for whatever reason. 
and then you will need instead of a normal one of those bills you're gonna need one of these with this piece in particularly being important you'll see, you guys see we'll see in a second after I put it where it's supposed to be oh yeah and also if you guys are wondering this is where it's supposed to go also that's where those two other plates are supposed to come in <laughs> okay up next is this now you will need one of these put it right there then get one of these which is pre a pretty cool piece just a two by four no two by two with a hole in the bottom so that you can do this make a hole in the palm of someone's hand so then up next you'll just need a two by two with some bar tips at the end which this will be your fingers holder and then I will show you just a pretty simple uh, way to build the fingers just get one of these preferably without a broken claw or should I say grabber and then grab one of those robot hands from earlier and then stick it into the bottom it should be looking like this and this is actually for the build for the thumb which it will be going on one of these one by one clip pieces then you will be simply sticking it Oh, you have to put the fingers on first <laughs> you'll be sticking the fingers right here and then put the thumb right there he doesn't have a pinky because why would a robot have a pinky I'm gonna need one of these there and then a slow piece here those pieces were nothing just more just some good aesthetics for the for the mech now with that you'll need a one by one slope and a one by one U piece and put them both here on the forearm and then grab another piece of piece pizza piece inside of light blue and then put it right here boom you got your human like arm here and ready to go on to that gosh darn wreck now with that now I could just attach it right wait yeah right here now he has his arm back now we can do stuff like this <laughs> oh yeah and if, if so if you guys are asking why I built this extra arm it's because it's to balance out the weight of the arm allowing it to stand and go straight so that you guys could do stuff like this or just play rock paper scissors <laughs> I know that I would do that. That actually might be a good idea for a short bill. Eh, I'll think about it. <laughs> okay. Now, with that being said, I might take a little break from this. Nah, I'm just joking. Okay, time for the body. Taking apart this is pretty hard because I mean, so many of like the exact same color. Also, be sure to bring a brick separator if you guys are going to be taking this apart because most of these plates are pretty goodly good uh, put together. Luckily that my uh, fingernails just grew in so that now I don't need a brick separator for most of the things I do. Okay. 
finally, it's time for the assembly of the upper body. I have the hips on the table, but I'm not going to tell you guys about that till later. So, first things first, you're going to need to get one of these pieces. It's just a 2x2 two two with some two with some 1x2 strapped to the side. Then you're going to need that exact same piece that we use for the arm, just instead of the studs being on the bottom, it's on the top, which will allow us to do something like this. Which will be important for later, since most of this build has not it uses not which is studs not on top. Up next, you will need just a regular one by two. Put it in here. Boom, upper torso five percent completed. <coughs> okay, next thing is. Oh, yes. Okay, so up next is you get would want to get one of these for the arms, which would be the arm attachments, which will be where the arms will be attaching using these pieces that I was talking about earlier, and one of these two by uh, two by f uh, two by six slopes with a little uh, lip at the end so that you could do this. Hmm. Oh my gosh, I think I might have forgotten how to do this. <laughs> okay, wait, maybe not. Well, while I'm figuring this out, you need one of these pieces and two of these plate pieces. Connect them like this, then do this, leaving some space at the bottom for these two one by two slopes, which also have a lip so that you can do this. For me to build the arm? No, not arm. Oh, dang it. I almost forgot this. <laughs> Thank goodness I didn't. <laughs> I almost forgot to put this in. You need to put this in with this little bobber at the bottom before you do that. So that you uh won't well what is it gosh darn it i think i might have forgotten how to build the torso um dang i maybe should have had like a little picture dang. think of her think you literally built this thing from scratch how do you forget how to build it okay well, at least I know that you need to do this with the other clip, not click, uh, socket thing. Oh, wait, now I'm remembering. You need to put this 2x2 two two at the bottom to make it look like some armor. Oh, wait, yes, I'm actually remembering. Okay. Then you use these pieces and actually put them right here. Now, sorry for you, got for me to accidentally mislead you guys. I forgot how to build this for a second. <laughs> how funny! And I'm the one who built it. 
good thing. But now that there's this space, wait, wait what? <laughs> that yes I did forget how to build my own mech because of how poorly I did map it while I was building it I'm starting to remember and that's what it that's what I needed to do now this is the part that I forgot I forgot that you are supposed to put one of these here before you put that on so that later on you won't have to uh, go through the headache that I just endured. <laughs> now it was covered up because of the lip on this thing. So now, yeah, wait, what? No? Huh. Hmm. Okay, I got the right design. Hmm. Gosh darn it. Okay. 